Hey, what's up, everybody? Here to bring you another review. It's time to the SH Fig Arts Mim Bam Soldier from Solo, Star Wars Sorry. So, let's get started. Uh, first, I want to say uh, I didn't expect this to come out so nice, but then I don't really expect much because it just makes it better that way. But um, I was pleasantly surprised by the Mim Bam Soldier because it uses the Rogue One uh, Stormtrooper technology with a little bit of a uh, new heft to it, I should say. So, let me get into that for one second. First, I want to start by saying this is a plastic cape. It is. But it is a soft plastic cape that is malleable with heat and it can come off. So it doesn't hinder. It's not like sewn in or it's not permanently there. They allow you to take it off because, you know, why the hell not? It'll actually make it a lot easier for you to have fun with this guy. Trust me. It'll make it a whole lot fun. So, CJ, I'm looking at you to make a cloth cape. So, yeah. First and foremost, I want to start with articulation and how the helmet is slightly different from that of the normal stormtrooper. Now, as you can see here, his helmet design is actually different up top from those on the one on Minban and the normal stormtrooper. As you can see here, so it does differ. It's actually a little thinner as well in the front, so it's a little thinner at the sides too. So this is really cool. So you actually get a slightly different design. I am not a hardcore Star Wars guy. I'm a very casual. So the fact that I noticed this is uh, something to me because I usually would miss it. I don't catch it all the time. But this is actually pretty dope. And even with the plastic cape here, articulation is that of a stormtrooper, you know. So as you can see, the head-wise. But if you want, you can pull it up a little and then rotate it over the soft plastic cape to get an extra bit of articulation. As far as the arms go, you are not hindered at all. <laughs> the plastic cape doesn't get in the way because it's plastic and it's soft. You can actually rotate the arm all the way up, rotate it around, down. And the arm is on a double joint, but as you can see here, it doesn't do much because the arm is in the way. You can actually rotate it left and right to get an extra little bit of articulation. And there's a ball joint hand, which is really nice. And as you can see here, it's actually on a joint that doesn't allow it to be hindered. So that's pretty dope. As far as the waist articulation goes, you actually get a nice chunk of articulation. But if you go too far, what happens is it, it moves. So you actually do get nice new articulation. You just can't go too far. But you do, it's there. It's definitely there, as you can see. He definitely rotates in. So if you ever have any Star Wars vehicles or you feel like you want to put this guy on one, it's totally possible. The leg, like I said, uses the new Rogue One technology where you can pull the leg down and rotate the thigh up. So as you can see here, you are not hindered at all. It's really nice. So if you want to sit down, have a cup of tea, talk about stories about where you actually hit something, you'll be fine. But yeah, this is pretty dope. I like the paint job on it. I like the articulation. It's I love the Rogue One one, so it's really dope. And then you can rotate in and out with an ankle pivot and a toe pivot. So I'm really happy with these. Um, I say that like I should have gotten more because I should have gotten more, but I didn't. But real quick, one thing I want to point out is, like I said, the cape can come off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually remove the head and make it so that I can take these off. So let's uh, rotate these arms in a way that I can remove these. So what's going to happen is I'm either going to have to take over the sh take off the shoulder armor, which shouldn't be too difficult if I pop it off. So bear with me. I don't want to break it, but I do want to pay attention to what I'm doing so I can repeat the process to put it back on. So what's going to happen is obviously I'm going to lean that out. Like I said, bear with me as this takes a minute. I'm doing it on camera for the first time, and I'm actually technically not even looking at it. <laughs> so voila. You can actually take the plastic cape off. It's not one of those things where it's totally there and you have to worry about it being stuck on forever. So just like with Phasma, you can actually go out and get you a third-party cape. Now I got flies in my room. <laughs> Working in my toy room, and they're doing this to me. But yeah, so the Minban Soldier actually looks really, really good without it. It might be a little bit of a gap here as you see where the armor is. But overall, the Minban Soldier actually looks pretty dope without the cape. It looks like he's, you know, a Stormtrooper that actually survived. So he has the mean look. The armor is there. I like it. I like it a lot. Real quick, we're going to talk about what he comes with. So you get blaster hands or pointing hands, depending on whether or not you have an item in them. And then you get hands for holding the blaster. 
in the said opposite hand of the blaster. You also get two blasters. Now, the names of these I do not know, because like I said, I am a casual fan. But this one actually looks like some sort of rifle. It actually looks really nice as well, too. And you actually get the stock rifle that you usually get with most uh, Star Wars uh, Stormtroopers. I think it's an E-22. Uh, someone in the comments will obviously put the right thing, but, you know. So I like the Stormtrooper. Real quick, we're going to compare all three types of Stormtroopers that we've gotten from SHF. The You know, that's not exclusive. So here he is. This is the first release one. Shout out to my boy Joey for this one. I don't know what I did with all mine. And on the right hand side, we're going to do the Rogue One ones. So the Men Band actually fits in pretty well. I mean, Stormtroopers don't actually necessarily be all the same height. So this guy may be a little smaller, maybe because I pushed down the, uh, the hip joint a little too far. But overall, I like the look of it. Fits in really well. So if you are a Stormtrooper guy, it's definitely one to add to your collection. Real quick in height comparison next to Han and Chewie, though. So here's the new Chewie from Solo. And here's Han because he's Han. So I think this works out. Look good. Next up, we're going to get into other lines. Here he is next to a Mezco Captain America. Who he looks tiny next to because even when... Voila, he looks very tiny next to. That's SHF for you. They're their own scale. Here we are next to an Articulated Icons Ninja. Here we are next to Killy from 1000 Toys. These guys look about the same height. They look really good. Here we are next to a Figma Hunter. And SH Figure Arts Camerata Cougar. Not bad. Last but not least, we have a Synthetic Human and a Marvel Legends Scarlet Spider. So size-wise, because Stormtroopers can come in all size and heights, if you have a mixed Star Wars bunch, I think he'll fit in just fine as a Minban soldier. Looks really dope. I actually am pleasantly surprised by it. I didn't expect the cape to come off and be easily accessible because I like the body a lot more without the cape. So a cloth cape will do just fine later on. It's really dope. In the meantime, guys, hope you enjoyed this. Hope you found it informative. And uh, most of all, I hope you guys do good, be good, and as usual, drink your water. Later.